Welcome back to another advanced game maker studio tutorial with two types of homing uh, things. So the one which is a little delayed, a little bit more advanced one. So here as you can see it's trying to catch up but it's delaying. And this one you've seen in tons of games where you have like souls where they try to follow you. Or for example Risk of Rain where these things are trying to catch up with you. Uh, I don't know, the dot coins and, and experience points or whatever. And then the second one which you see is a homing rocket which instantly homes so this is the easier version which I'm going to show you first and then it's doing a little blink animation little disclaimer this doesn't work if you have multiple rockets as you can see now the blink animation is pretty much baked so this is not the optimal one but as you can see uh, the homing is working correctly so if you <laughs> what you saw now is a crash because well it's trying to a search for something which doesn't exist. I'm going to show you that in a second too. So if you like that stuff, consider subscribing, sharing and liking. So hopefully that is something you definitely want to have. So let's go for our first thing, which is our rocket. Let's kill everything here. Bam. Uh, let's draw ourselves so we don't disappear. So everything gone, sweet. So normally what you could do is just basically check out uh, two things because well, you are, whoa, I already drawn that one. So basically you are having a target, which is the hydrant. So this is this guy. Then you want to get the nearest instance. So maybe if you have multiple hydrants, so multiple objects you want to home in, you want to home into the nearest one. And therefore just checking, hey, I want to have the position X and Y of this dude here. And then fly over here. So how can we do this? Well, you go for instance nearest. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can actually see that. I guess most of the of you guys watch that on your cell phones, and therefore I need to zoom in because well, the code is kind of small. It's a little, it's big on my monitor, but the monitor is quite huge. So yeah. So what do we do? Well, we grab the nearest instance of our targets. And then store it into a variable let's call that near and then we want to move towards a point so move towards because there's always a function like this so this is pretty sweet and where do we want to go well the position which we stored in uh, an hour uh, variable here so basically what we're just checking because here we get an instance our nearest one and then we want to move to heads position concerning its x and y coordinates i don't know speed let's go 0 0.5 and if you just wanted to have that well off you go <laughs> because we are finished here so let's no that's not the correct one as you can see it's trying to uh, get near to the position because it's in a step event it's trying to follow up so maybe you want to turn around that thing so you want it to because it's a rocket you want to turn it uh, towards its target well easy peasy as well and that kind of thing how can we say that well we want to apply our image angle so basically how we turn around and then we want to grab an angle and then we say just hey point direction x and y from our starting position and then to our target so bam we need four inputs in point direction for uh, coordinates so two x positions and, and to y positions and then point direction is just giving you back an angle and then well if you just wanted to have that well off you go <laughs> oh, no. once again press the wrong one as you can see but it's kind of snappy so it would update quite fast because well it's, it's a step event it's 60 times uh, in one second so it will turn around well towards it then this could be already it but maybe you want to have a little homing animation so this one i will go in quickly so here what you can do is and do an alarm and make it blink so therefore we just say hey 15 so four times a second we want to blink create a little variable which i called blink alpha and this little variable is being used as an alpha value for a thing which i want to draw to so we go for draw sprite and then extend and what do we want to have my, my crosshair give it a zero then we need uh, x and y positions which one do we want well from our 
target which we already got so i'm gonna i'm gonna make this quite fast because well this is not the best solution it's kind of it is good enough but let's uh, face it there are more elegant ways how to do that uh, see white and then what do we want to have well we want to blink and for now of course it's not blinking now let's go away here I'm gonna fill you in a few seconds and then for now it's now one and it's not blinking for, for example once we started you will see that we have a crosshair being run on our target which is pretty nice so here it does already work so this is cool but i want to blink therefore we want to loop our little alarm and we say alarm set which one well, zero and then 15 so basically this is how you start alarm once then it's going to the alarm and then alarm set just resets the alarm after 15 steps it will loop back to the alarm and then we say oh okay loop again and then again and again this is how you cr create an infinite loop without crashing the game and what do we want to have well we want it to loop and change its value because we don't want it to be all the time one therefore we just go for a switch case case your one then we want to set it to i don't know 0.5 break and then of course we can copy that line because typing eh, not the biggest fan of 0.5 and then one and what this code is just meaning we just blink through it Ooh. here we go and then we just blink and now well it's, we are almost finished here so this is the sweet part so as you can see no once again <laughs> it's blinking but if you have multiple rockets then it doesn't really work but for one target hey cool effect easy and quickly to pull through and then maybe you want to destroy our target so basically go an event collision and then with my target parent which is in well inheriting everything to uh, well the child doesn't really, you don't really have to know that for but if you have multiple targets then it is a good thing let's say for example you have an object enemy and this is uh, well how can you call that uh, a parent object and then well everything else you have goblins you have archers you have uh, i don't know rockets everything else which can be a child and then what well, you just have to target this overarching our object which is well where all the children are sharing the same stuff and then well you can use it oh one time this is parentage didn't want to go into that actually so let's go and uh, destroy no instance destroy let's go instance come on destroy and that we can actually do two times first of all destroy ourselves then destroy the other id which we are bumping into so basically the other instance now what you will see uh, it will crash actually so we go and then okay but let's say we're creating another one then it's not working so what's actually happening here little thing if you always do the nearest instance and then you have code which where you use this thing um it's trying to update something which doesn't exist anymore and therefore you just check hey if instance can exists and which one do we want to have well our target and then you wrap it around here and then well this of course homing won't be working but you won't be crashing because it's trying to access something which doesn't exist and therefore this is a good practice of course here you need to put it in S. Well, so wrap it around and say like, hey, don't draw anything if there is no target. And then, for example, we try it again. We destroy the target, web, and then, of course, as you can see, it's not moving because, well, it doesn't have any target. So this is the, let's call it in quotations, the easier version of the homing rocket. What you can do is you don't have to use move towards point. There are different ways. You will have a um, potential step and then uh, step object and here these ones are a little bit more uh, elaborate because they do 
almost the same as this dude here, but they are checking for instances where they can bump into. So what is that good for? Well, let's say you are having a object which is somewhere here, and then it's going through here and like bam, and that's stuck in this instance, let's say, okay, damn it, I have to go around and then it's trying to uh, make its way. But of course for a rocket, it's not bumping into things and trying a way around. So this is not how it actually works. But let's say for a path or an enemy where you give it in just uh, this kind of homing in instructions, then of course it's not a bad thing to do. So let's go into our homing object. So let's check this one out. This one is a little bit more interesting because it has a delayed uh, homing um, function. So, oh, come on. You can see after some time, it's trying to get near to it. And this is like a soul thing, just trying to catch up. So these are those homing things. And of course you can change how fast they are homing. So how fast they can turn around and how fast they are moving. I'm going to show you that in a few seconds. So what's actually happening in here? So let's kill all that stuff. Nah, and that stuff. And yeah, you don't need to see this because this is not important. That and draw, we can completely kill. So here we are working a little bit different. So first of all, we are having a state. And this one can be empty. It doesn't really matter because um, what we do after an alarm. So once we're hitting our alarm of, let's, let's say, I don't know, one second, so 60. What do we do on our alarm? We go to another state where we just follow. So here, um, first of all, what do we do? We just give it a direction once we create it. So direction, and I don't know, let's go for high random range. We go for circle and then uh, speed, I don't know. Give it a value of what did I put in one. So what's happening now? We are in our state and then we are flip flopping it to another state. But for now, nothing is happening. So basically we are creating thing and then it's going in a direction. Of course, nothing is happening because well, we are not doing anything. So how can we actually set up our new homing and what we can do is once again we are grabbing our nearest instance so let's go this one so we're grabbing once again our nearest instance and then we're just saying hey but only do that if we are following so if wham if we are in our state of following try to follow our nearest target. And then what we could do is point direction from our direction and then our nearest target. And this is how you can actually set up your own homing. So as you can see, um, if I put in direction and start it, then it would instantly go into the direction where we want to go. And so this would be uh, your own kind of homemade uh, targeting system. So let's go. As you can see, it goes instantly where we want to go and it's updating it all the time. So it's kind of snappy as well. But we want it to be delayed. And therefore, we do a little thing which is a little bit more um, difficult to pull off. So we go for a temporal variable. And that one I call target direction. So basically we are storing our thing where, which would be the optimal direction. And then what do we do? We update our direction. And this is a little bit difficult to understand. I have it from another video and then we set it to plus equals. So we update it with the thing and then we go into some heavy math. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I cannot really uh, describe what it actually does. So basically we are having a, a, sin a sinus vari uh, um, 
application so basically the value can go between one and zero so sinus if you don't know this is just the sinus wave one uh, minus one i guess and then here we are at zero and then detour guard this is a this this is a thing which uh, is a little bit difficult to understand um, to explain and therefore what we do you are converting from uh, degrees into radians i guess radians is the american system so it's a little bit more complicated than ours because we have uh, zero to 360 and we're pretty much done and you guys work with p versions which is okay <laughs> um, so um, the, the one thing I can say about this, well, it does work. I'm not gonna say this is the most elegant way, but hey. And what do we do? Well, we take our target direction, which is the optimal one, and then minus our dire current direction, so, and then we close it. And then you will see that it will try to catch up with this kind of a little function here and and if we get this neat little effect of how we can uh, well, make this delayed thing and of course if you say hey I want to control it a little bit further so let's say you want it to turn around faster then you go with a value I don't know 3 or 10 or whatever you want to have and then it will update faster and for example if you say hey I want to have my speed faster um, let's go for three when I am following and this is a thing which is of course possible and as you, see, as you can see now it will go and then it's turning around much faster and of course it has a delay but the delay is almost uh, not as hard as the other one as you can See, so this is a pretty cool thing and well this is the code a little bit difficult to understand so basically idle direction which it would which would be the no, not the idle the optimal direction which could be here and then well idle direction which minus our current one and then we update it and this kind of value which comes out here is a value between one and minus one so this is a small one and this will just incrementally just update the direction so let's say our direction was like I don't know 100 and then for example here it will be 101 maximum 102 103 of course um, every step so basically this will update it quite fast and here this is just speeding up that value hopefully that was of interest to you and let's make a little firework here because eh, why not go for bigger amounts because I like bigger amounts and then well, put in some more targets because why not some our children here so choo -choo 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 -choo. and BAM let's make definitely more targets so this is of course not optimal because uh, you can see these ones are going up these ones are going down and then let's make our this is actually looking pretty neat so if that was a thing you would like to learn you here you go and we are done here have a good one one up indeed